Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having a wonderful day or night and that you'll enjoy the video and thank you so much for watching. There's nothing more cringy than a man saying, oh, you ride horses? Well, surely you'll be able to ride me. No, Pete, I won't be able to ride you because you won't be half as good as my 16-2 KWPN gelding. Yeah, so I'm not gonna lie, in normal circumstances, that is pretty cringy. So maybe Pete there should know better, I guess. I'm sure you're wondering if I can ride. The answer is yes. Stallions, geldings, mares, men. Oh wait, but on your first video you said, so I guess Pete maybe knew better, you are gonna ride him? Now that I expected you to be consistent with your videos, but still. In case you were wondering, yes, the rumor that horse girls have the best peaches is true, but there's only one way you can really find out. Well, I'm really not that curious if I'm completely honest, and I can always ask Pete if that rumor was true or not, or pretty much anyone else for that matter, because as we can see, not only that you have one, or two, or three, but four different links where we can see for ourselves if that rumor was true or not. Pretty desperate if you ask me, but what do I know? I'm not as strong and independent as you are. Okay. This train is I, if not, then train. if not, John, I'm leaving on Monday. Done. So if not, then I'll meet you for dinner on Sunday. We'll we'll meet you for dinner on Sunday. <laughs> I'll message it. Common sense, who? Five or six years from now, we're gonna remember we used to have it, but it disappeared one day just like the dinosaurs did. Unless they're gonna add it into history books, ten years from now, we're not gonna even remember we had it. Alright, let's see what this wonderful lady has to say. Just because we pull the same man does not mean we are anywhere near the same. Respectfully, you could never be me. Disrespectfully, I never want to be you. Well, fair enough. But what you two have in common is you both pull the same man. So maybe just ask him, because I'm pretty sure for him you are both the same. Old news. Hey guys, I just wanted to come on here and say that I'm fully aware that some of my content is really cringy and unrelatable. Please know that I'm just trying to appeal to the algorithm. And sometimes you just don't look. Well, yeah, I can promise you I'm not gonna look. Especially for this price. But do you really want men not to look? For one, I would want men to stop paying, especially that amount. But you know they're gonna look and I know they're gonna keep on paying. So maybe I'll carry the hell on this one. Or you know what? I'm gonna let the hell be carried by those ones paying. I think I did mention this before, but regardless, I'm gonna mention it again. Whenever you're going on that OF and you think you're gonna chat your favorite girl and you're all happy that she responds to your messages, you're actually talking to this guy. And this is how much he makes monthly just for promoting the girls that you think you're talking to. Yeah, so next time your favorite girl says, I love you, baby, send me money, it's actually him. Last time I I checked he had 700 accounts that he was managing now maybe your favorite girl is not one of those 700 but chances are there's gonna be another guy just like him managing your favorite girl so yeah if you're one of those guys that are paying for OF I think I'm gonna let you carry your L I really just let a medium ugly man make me sit here all day wondering if he's gonna text me what's wrong with me well, first of all, grandma, no, actually, that's it. This man literally has the audacity. One second. The audacity to text me this morning saying, good morning, baby. Also, like, the first thing he says to me is, did you have a productive day yesterday? And like, yeah, valid question, but this is what I mean when I think like he could be a little controlling. Like, did you, have, and then he's like, what did, I was like, yeah, I did actually. He's like, what did you do? What did you get done? Are you my dad? I've survived 13 years without one. I don't think I need one now. I want someone who like makes me want to be a better person. Like that is, I think, so important in a relationship. But you're not gonna text me all day after we just spent the weekend together and then you're gonna say to me, 
What did you get done yesterday? Did you have a productive day? I'm sorry, like that just doesn't sit well with me. The more I think about it too, I'm just like, you definitely probably have another. Which is fine because we're not exclusive or anything. But like, he's not just like talking, texting somebody. I think, oh, I put way too much. It's like, I don't know, something's just weird. Just, you know? I really don't. In fact, I have no idea what you were trying to say. I was pretty much just impressed by your cooking skills and I didn't pay attention to anything else. I was also too busy apologizing to everyone that I ever said a woman should know how to cook. I take all that back. I did hear something about the audacity of him not texting you every day even though you're not exclusive and you're not in a relationship. But you forgot to mention your audacity expecting him to text you every day even though you're not exclusive or in a relationship. Also, when you say he definitely probably has another 304 when you say another that pretty much means that you're the first one or the other one or maybe it's just my bad english oh yep i think i think i did it this time i think i did myself in so this man who's coming to la this weekend so we can hang out who i'm excited about like i am like ex he just texted me that my TikToks came up on his For You page today. I didn't ask him which TikTok, but I was like, ah, embarrassing. Also, don't mind me. Um, Well, it's probably the TikTok that we've seen earlier, so in the end, nothing to be embarrassed about. And if he's anything like me, he's gonna be also impressed by your cooking skills, and don't worry, he's gonna show up. He's not gonna waste too much time with you, but he's still gonna show up. Also, if he's anything like me, he's gonna take you out to dinner, because there's no way he's gonna touch what you're making, so you will get some free food out of all this adventure. But he will show up, because let's face it, for him, he's just getting something easy. No, I am sorry, but if that is not the most genius idea. You know what, girls? If you know your man is doing you wrong and doing you dirty, go and get that plump pit and then go and <coughs> on his, you know, peanut. Oh, my God. That is revenge. No, actually, it's not revenge. It's just having a 304 mindset. Good and decent women don't just turn into 304s because they got dumped, they got their feelings hurt, or they got cheated on. They're gonna dump the cheater and try to find a good man. You, on the other hand, you're just trying to find excuses for your behavior, and you're trying to hide that 304 mentality behind those excuses. Don't mind the herpes on my lips. It's crossing over, so it's getting better. Anyway... No, no, not anyway. Like I said earlier, once a 304, always a 304. Please explain to me how we got to the point where men are expected to be damn near perfect. See, this is where you're wrong, because no one's expecting you to be perfect. They're expecting you to be emotionally intelligent and a good partner. But what I can't figure out is why you're not happy that women are asking you to be more than just what you can provide. They're raising their standards to demand the makings of a mutually beneficial relationship, and that only benefits you in return. But some of you don't want to be better men, so you intentionally make the standards sound unattainable so that you don't even have to try and meet them. But this is no different than what you've been doing to women for years. You're so mad about the standards, but the standards aren't new. They're only new for you. And you're not even under any obligation to meet them, just like women aren't required to lower theirs for you. But you're not entitled to a partner if you're not willing to be a good one. So I don't think you're mad about the standards. I think you're mad that they apply to you. Right, so the narrative here is whenever a man speaks up, it means he's mad about something. For those of you who doesn't know who that guy is, he's a YouTuber, he has a channel, TV Night, solid content, you should check him out. And it just happens that I watch his videos, I know he's married, and I know they have a kid together. And it just happens that I know his wife joins him in some of his videos, and they do pretty much share the same mindset, the same standards. So I'm not really sure what standards you think he's mad about. He has those standards standards met by his wife. Can you say the same about your standards and about your husband? Yeah, I didn't think so. It also happens that his wife is what you would call a strong and independent woman. She is a successful businesswoman and she has a successful business. But apparently they both share the same values, same standards, and obviously they're in a solid, happy relationship and it works for them. So apparently his wife knows how to make their marriage work. Can you say the same about yours? Yeah, I didn't think so. Also, 
also since you say those standards are not new stop acting like you came up with them and not to use your logic against you but maybe you're just mad because no one cares about you or your standards if you see me posting on instagram me out at a dinner um and i don't post who i'm with baby i'm telling you right now i'm with another man And it didn't have to be that way. It really didn't. Actually, it kind of did. When he said, get out of my house, he never meant, baby, come back, I love you. It only meant, we're done, do whatever you want to do, leave me alone. Apparently, for a lot of you, that means turning into a 304. But I'm pretty sure he doesn't care anymore. If you live with a boy, what's something that they either brought with them or bought that they think is okay, even though it's not okay? I'll go first. It's in a cabinet. Could you imagine if she meant the dog? <laughs> Okay, so this is a trend right now where women will show their perfect white and beige Pinterest houses and then pan to a very basic item that any man might own. Owning glasses with designs on them? Illegal. If you live with a boy, what's something that they either brought with them or bought that they think is okay, even though it's not okay? I'll go first. Keeping your air pure? Illegal. If you live with a boy, what's something that they either brought with them or bought that they think is okay, even though it's not okay? I'll go first. A computer? What do you need a computer for? To look at other girls? Illegal. If you live with a boy, what's something that they either brought with them or bought that they think is okay, even though it's not okay? I'll go first. Why do all these houses look the same? Did I, like, miss the memo about our houses needing to be white and beige? Are white and beige houses just like the rite of passage when women hit 30? Kind of like how we all had to get belly button rings when we turned 18? <laughs> and I know that a lot of these are meant to be funny, but one of the most important lessons I've had to learn living with a man is... It's his house too. You're gonna have to concede on some stylistic choices. You might have to find a spot for the gorilla head. You can't just expect your partner to compromise their entire personality the minute they move in with you. It's a shared space. They're not some ancillary character in your story. They're a main character too. Now I will say this, if you are a woman who has to keep your house, like those houses, at all times, you should not live with a man, or mostly anybody, honestly. You should live with any of these other women who used this sound. <laughs> partner shaming would be at an all-time low. I'll just add this real quick because I made this way too long and hopefully not that boring. If you need to shame or post about your partner online instead of handling things inside your own relationship, you should be ashamed of yourself and you should not be in a relationship. But anyway, this is gonna be it for today. I do hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe and I will see you in the next one.